Not too long ago, I went from living on $42 a month, broke as a church rat, to making $250 million at 25. My name is Abdo Kowi, and here's my story on how I did it. Plus, I reveal things I have never spoken about before. So I'm ready to develop myself to the best. It's all about investing in yourself. The biggest investment you can make is in yourself. You see, I grew up poor as a frail looking kid. I got bullied a lot and my parents divorced when I was 8 years old. It was challenging because I didn't have the best of everything but I didn't let my rough childhood stop me from achieving my dreams. And now I live in a penthouse in Dubai driving my dream cars, travel the world. But I just want you to understand. I want to be clear with you that I don't like telling this type of stories because it feels like I just come off as bragging and that's understandable. But I want to share some lessons on what you may be able to achieve if you stay true to your dreams and put in the work. You see, I went from making shoes and simple videos to getting deplatformed, scammed and discriminated against to growing businesses and selling them for millions of dollars. So if you come from nothing and have been told all your life that you won't amount to anything, then stick around and I hope my story inspires you. You see, I was born and raised in Ibadan, it's a city in Nigeria to parents who were low income earners. As a kid, I had trouble fitting in with my peers. And honestly, I hated parent teacher days in school because I often saw that other kids felt love from both of their parents, while mine, shit. They were always at loggerhead. My mom was a teacher who made $58 a month, despite working tiring hours while my dad was a lecturer who made $250 at the height of his career. They struggled to stay afloat. Since the government didn't pay their salaries on time, universities went on strike for months at a time and this took a heavy toll on our finances. Because of this, I never had fancy clothes growing up. My mom could only afford used clothes from the UK which she also sold for a living to supplement our teaching salary. So due to this, I found it difficult to socialize with other kids who talked about games they had on the PlayStation and my family could not afford that. The only thing that kept me happy was my hope that things will get better someday. I knew definitely something had to change. Right? My wake up call came to me when I was 11 years old. I remember vividly on my mom's 35th birthday, she took me to meet someone who hold her money. Unfortunately, he ghosted us. So we just went back home and had Gary fried with palm oil and onions. Now you don't even give this to your dog. That's when I knew that something had to change. I got tired of living hand to mouth and I decided that wasn't going to be the life that I was going to settle for because it hurt to see my mom helpless and broke a situation where I couldn't do anything to help. Now thankfully, I found a book called Rich Dad Poor Dad at the school library and reading it made me want to escape the rat race. Thanks to this book, I learned about financial literacy, building my own businesses and also developing the right skill set to make money. So that's how I learned how to make shoes and sell them for a living, at least to earn some money and support my family. But my life changed when I saw an ad on YouTube by a young man sitting on a Lamborghini. His name, Jason Stone. You might know him as a millionaire mentor. It was the first time I saw someone young drive the cars that I had seen in movies like James Bond. He teaches about making money online. It was then I knew I had to invest in his course. Now, other people would have called him a scam. I did not care. But the big problem, I didn't have the full money, which cost $97. That was a lot of money to me as a 14 year old. Despite this, I couldn't give this up. So I wrote an email asking for a discount. Luckily, they agreed and I only had to spend $47. Now, once I had access to the course, I would go to the cyber cafe and spend some time learning and it took a while to land my first client as a freelancer 
selling explainer videos, which I learned from Jason Stone, to marketing consultants. But when I finally did, I made my first $50. It was life changing. That was when I knew this was the way, right? I even took a picture of that moment and you will see. So just imagine it. If someone could pay me $50 for just one job, I knew it shouldn't take long to make a name for myself. So after doing this for a few months, I earned a total of $2,500 from working gigs using this freelance platform. But one day, I received an email that shattered my feelings. Nigerians have been deplatformed due to suspicious activities. So I lost all the money. Now, despite this terrible experience, my eyes were opened to what's possible for me to accomplish. And so I just couldn't give up that easily. I mean, I started going around Facebook groups and searching for potential clients to pitch to. So I look for people who search for, I need help with, I'm struggling with. And it proved difficult due to the fact that so many people weren't willing to work with a Nigerian like me. And I even got called so many names like a Nigerian prince, scammer, Whatever you can think of, I got called that. But I kept on going eventually because I finally landed my first client after three months. And this led me to a new journey in freelancing. It was at this point I made a video at 15 saying I was going to become the best in the world at what I do. I'm going to be the best I can be. One beautiful morning in October 2014, I read about how to sell physical products online on a popular internet forum. So I went from selling my time for money to trading products for money. So I used the money I was making from freelancing to invest into e-com. I partnered with one of the users I met on the forum who was Irish because in Nigeria, Western financial services like PayPal, Stripe, or US bank accounts weren't available options for me. You can't receive money. So that's why I had to partner up with someone who was in a first world country. And we kept working together until we made a profit of over $10,000. But one day, to my disappointment, my partner caught me off and ran away with all this money. And it was a soul crushing experience. I was devastated for a while, but I knew I couldn't dwell on it for too long. I started doing my own research and found out that I can incorporate my business in the US once I am of legal age. Mind you, I wasn't yet 18 when I was doing all of this, right? To me, this was a ray of hope because I didn't have to rely on other people managing my business finances anymore. I then enrolled in a community by a business coach, Trailer Ellen. He was the first person I knew who made a million dollars selling online right he has been featured in multiple articles and i've seen videos of him interviewed by the biggest names in the online marketing space so if i see someone who has accomplished something way bigger and it also means that i can do it too you see by surrounding myself with people like this who are doing amazing things my mentality shifted it filled me with great motivation that I can do similar things and if I really dedicate myself and put my mind to it, I would accomplish things. So I pay less attention in school so I could focus more on my business and get the results that I wanted. This time I was selling women's shapewear products and men's height increasing shoes online, especially for guys who are short and they are interested in dating tall ladies. So little by little, I was making progress until I made my first $10,000 in a single day. I couldn't believe my eyes as I kept refreshing my dashboard. And I tell you, it was the most insane feeling ever. After that, I scaled up and made my first $100,000 per month. And next thing I know, I went to $200,000 Per month. I was only 18 at the time and this totally changed my life forever. I couldn't contain my joy but I knew I had to stay level-headed and reinvest this money back in the business. Now you will see a video here right now of when I made $200,000 in a month and because of this I could finally afford to take care of my mom who has been my pillar and my support system. I bought a car, bought my first car, and I also bought myself from real estate investment. I mean, I've always loved 
real estate and I believe that is something that I should invest my money into. So while my two businesses were successful, I kept serving as a direct response marketer, which is a high income skill, and investing into masterminds to level up my life. So at 19 years old, I reached my fourth million dollar month. While I was still studying at the university, that's when I realized this was my only route to financial freedom. So I went all in with my business to work towards building my dream life. But even though, I was doing well financially. I was still that socially awkward kid who had insecurities about my personal appearance. I had pimples all over my face and I hated seeing my own reflection in the mirror. That's why I always refused to give any interviews. I felt ashamed about my face and how I looked even though I was spending a lot of money to improve it. My mom would even make jokes then that I probably wasn't taking enough bath because she thought it was eczema. <laughs> but I kept focusing on the business until late 2020 when I sold my two e-commerce brands for $128 million. An offer so irresistibly juicy that it never crossed my mind to turn it down. I still couldn't believe it. 128 million? I mean, I've given any interviews, but the thing is, I've been documenting my entire journey since October 2018 on what was still Twitter. This has led me to becoming published in some articles in Nigeria and then eventually worldwide. If you Google my name, you'll see several things come up. Now, this was about the time when the special anti-robbery squad or the SARS unit has been making headlines due to police brutality and harassment of civilians. I was scared for my own safety, so I knew I had to leave Nigeria once I was done with my schooling, especially that I wasn't working a typical nine to five, which meant that no one would understand what I was doing. And this was a rogue unit in the police force that just attacked young men who were doing well for them. So I went to visit Dubai, a city that I immediately fell in love with. I decided to process my residency to live here, although this didn't come without its own challenges too, because I was Nigerian. Which by the way, I made a video about and you can check that out right here. Now, I'm 25, I have education and consulting businesses where I coach people to help them make an extra six million dollars a year. Uh, yeah, you dropped a lot of games. And these businesses make me five million dollars a month plus a diversified portfolio of investments and a luxury men's watch brand called The Phoenix, and you can check that out on Instagram. I believe that none of this would be possible if not for the right high income skill set, if not for the skill set that I developed, plus the winning mindset and the will to persevere through all the challenges life throws at me. My dream fast cars and travel the world and work with the best clients possible. And you wouldn't believe that this is the same person who grew in poverty in a broken home. So here are some key takeaways. One, the willingness to persevere. Life will always throw challenges your way, but if you stick with it and never give up, it becomes way better for you. Two, finding the right circle. You see, I've learned you can't grow without having the right people around you. You have to find people who are on the same journey as you and hold onto them tight. Three, investing into yourself. When I was 15, I didn't know how fast life will change, but I kept putting all my money back into courses, coaching, and mentorship to level up. That changed my life forever. Number four, getting good at your craft. You see, you get paid in relation to how great you are at your field. My first gig ever, I got paid $50, right? Now, just one client is worth $600,000 to me a year. Five wealth by osmosis. If you surround yourself with five wealthy people, you become the sixth wealthy person because it rubs off on you too and shifts your belief system. Six, never lose your sense of optimism. I come from a very dark place, a third world country, and yet manage to stay positive. So never allow your environment affect or change who you are internally. And seven, choosing the right wealth vehicle. You see, if I listened to society and worked a job, I've never worked a job, I will probably never have a fulfilled life. But by having a high income skill that is in demand and helps people make money, I also get paid a lot of money for my service. Now, the best skills 
are in sales. And it's why I launched Paid Setter University to share with you how you can make an extra 5K a month sending DMs for high ticket business owners, right? So check out the pinned comment for the free training on this. Now, I hope this has been an inspiring story that fills you with hope and motivation. See, it all begins with you making the right decisions. Always remember to keep chasing your dreams to make them a reality. This has been my story. Never told this before. And if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments or on my Instagram, which will appear here at the Abdul Kowi. And now I am documenting all I've learned over a decade on YouTube. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I'll see you in the next one and check out this video.